Good morning everyone and welcome to our travel day vlog. Yes, you heard that correctly, we are travelling today. We are heading off to Kos, which is an island in Greece, and we are so, so excited. It is currently Wednesday the 9th of August 2023, and we are flying out at 6pm UK time. We are going with TUI, and we are staying at a TUI hotel. It's all inclusive, which is going to be lovely, and it has a lot of amazing facilities there as well. So yeah, we are both so excited. The day is finally here, the cases are all packed, we are ready to go, we're just waiting on Tom's mum and dad to get here because they are very kindly looking after Kiwi for us for the week. So we just need to make sure that we've got all our last minute bits, that everything we put on charge does make it into our bags, and then we can head off to the airport. Now we are flying from Manchester airport, that is the airport we normally fly from to be honest with you guys, and we have paid for a week of parking. Now I personally don't know what Tom does with the parking because he sorts it all the time, bless him, but it's essentially just a little drop off so you drive your car in there, you drop off your keys and then when you come back you put in your registration plate and then your keys just get dropped back off to you which is really cool and it does also make the experience a lot easier. So that is what we've done again this time around. Tom is also the designated driver for the day, bless him. I did offer but I have a Fiat 500 Sport and it is very small. I don't think it could fit the cases in and us. So yeah, once again Tom has got the short straw and he is the driver. I don't think it's going to be too bad driving there. It's the driving back that's going to be a problem because I don't think that we are landing until like four o'clock in the morning UK time so obviously we need to drive back in the early hours of the morning and it's about a two hour drive from here as well which is definitely going to take its toll on Tom so the way back is definitely going to be worse. The way there we're just going to be buzzing, it's going to be so fun. I'm going to try not to go on my phone too much though because I don't want my battery to go down but I have a load of films downloaded on my Kindle ready to go. I have some books with me, I've got some sweets and we should be fine but I will of course take you guys along with us today. I will show you guys what's at the airport, what I pick up if I do and yeah just essentially bring you guys along with us on our travel day to Cos. I have decided to make this video a separate one to the rest of the trip just because I feel like it'll be fun to have a specific vlog for travel day so definitely keep your eyes peeled for a holiday vlog coming your way soon but for now I'm gonna head downstairs, do my last check, spend some time with Kiwi because we're leaving her for a week and I'm honestly devastated. She definitely knows that there's something going on as well. She has been very, very needy yesterday and today. And now that the case is out downstairs, she is clocked on. So yeah, she's expecting the worst in a minute. So that is why we decided to wait for Tom's mum and dad to arrive because then she's not being left alone and she won't be anxious. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a bit of time with her, make sure everything is sorted and then we will be good to go. So I will check in with you guys once we are in the car and once we are on our way to Manchester Airport. Port. And we are off you guys, we are heading to Manchester and yeah, Tom's driving, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> excited but not excited that he's driving, so yeah, we have started off, it's very windy because it's hot and it should take us about two hours to get there. Change of plan guys, we have landed in Broughton now. For those of you who don't know, my mum actually lives around here and we thought we would stop off here on the way because there are some food places here. So I think we're gonna have some food before we head off to the airport. And I'm not sure if my mum's actually gonna come and see us as well, which would be lovely. So that is the plan. I have not been on my phone. I've been reading my book, which is the second book in the Six Tudor Queen series, which of course follows Anne Boleyn. It's so interesting. I'm really enjoying reading it and I think I will read it on on the rest of the way to the airport. I think we have about 40 minutes left to go, which isn't too bad. So yeah, we're gonna go in now. Tom is outside waiting for me, bless him, because I was like, I am gonna film a clip now. Do you wanna be in it? And he was like, do you know what? I'll just stretch my legs. I'll let you have your moment with the camera. So yeah, he is waiting for me. I'm not sure where we're gonna go. There's a Nando's, Pizza Express, Frankie and Benny's, Prezzo, and something else I believe here as well, but I can't quite remember. So we'll see where we end up going. But yeah, that is the slight change of plan and it'll be nice to have a bit of food actually because I am very hungry. It is now quarter past one as well and I haven't eaten anything today so definitely needed and I will take you guys along with me of course. Right guys we made it to Chiquitos which is the one place I don't think I actually listed off earlier but look at our food. Isn't that just lovely? Tom got a barbecue chicken wrap and I got a beef burrito and it came with some chips as well so yeah we're gonna have this now which is going to hopefully keep us going for a bit and yeah hopefully it's as nice as it looks.
is our plane ready to go, guys? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. And we've got a delay, guys, so I'll keep you updated, but it looks to be about an hour for now. It's not looking good, guys. The luggage is now coming off the plane, and there's talks that this plane is going to be cancelled, so... <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what happens, but yeah, look, our luggage is coming off. There is technical problems, and I kind of want to cry. <laughs> right, guys, it has been a while since I last updated you. So when you last heard from me, I think we were about to board the plane. It was there on the runway as you saw and then it started to say that we were getting delayed. Now we've had delays before. We thought, you know what? It's going to be fine. We'll just sit here and let them do what they need to do and then hopefully get on our flights. It is now <laughs> gone half past 11. We were meant to fly out at six. We obviously haven't. We have been put up in a Holiday Inn, which is just by the airport, because our flight has been cancelled. I didn't film anything at the airport because honestly we were all pretty bummed. This took quite a while to actually get relayed to us, so as I mentioned at the start it was just delays, delays, delays. Then it got to a point where the suitcases came off the plane and we were all kind of watching thinking, oh gosh, this isn't good but they were still saying, no, it's fine. We're gonna get everyone back on in about an hour. So you can just go have a mooch round and then in about an hour's time, we will let you guys know when we plan on leaving. So that's what we did. <laughs> and then Tom came up to me actually and said that at 10 past nine, we were meant to get some more information and it said that we were planning on flying out at 10. And then not even two minutes after he said that, there was a Tanoi announcement saying that they made the decision to cancel the flights. <laughs> so they had a lot of passengers, a lot of whom were very, very angry angry which to be honest it's no one's fault there was a technical issue with the plane so I would prefer that this happened and that we knew of this issue rather than us having gone on that plane and something gone wrong whilst we were in the air like it doesn't even bear thinking about that would oof. Yeah, it's horrible to think about. So we're safe, we're here. Yes, it's a massive inconvenience. Yes, we are gonna be missing a day of our holiday but Tom and I are here, we're fine, and luckily for us, we are just traveling together. There were families there with a lot of young children, there were families with children who needed special care and that had disabilities, and so we are extremely lucky in that sense that it is just the two of us, and it's not as much of an issue for us as it would be for, say, a big family. So I know that we're lucky in that regard, but it is really, really gutting, especially because you've paid for it, especially because we got there on time, we've been so excited, and yeah, I think it was just the miscommunication that was the big thing here. Everyone felt quite let down by the TUI team that we weren't actually told what was going on. And to be honest, we still don't know what's going on now. So I received an email, I want to say about 20 minutes ago, and literally all it says is our airline team are still working on a new departure time for your flight and we can confirm we will know your new departure time at 8 tomorrow morning. So when I first read that I thought oh my gosh great we're flying out at 8, we're gonna get there by about 12, we're gonna have half the day left and it's gonna be fine but it doesn't say that at all. It says that they are gonna know what's happening by 8 o'clock tomorrow so we're gonna have to wake up for 8 or before 8 rather and then we might not be flying out till like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm just stressing. That's if they can get a replacement flight as well because I tried to book a different flight. There are no flights going out of there now until the 12th, which is three days away. So yeah, I genuinely wanted to cry. I didn't film anything in the airport of me because I just, I just, yeah. <laughs> I've not been in the best headspace and it's been a lot of waiting around. It's been a lot of disappointment and I didn't want to bring that negative energy <laughs> into this vlog because this was meant to be such a fun day and it's just turned out so different. We were at the airport for about eight hours <laughs> in total, which is a long time, but we have been set up here, which is lovely of them. The room is stunning. I would show you, but we've kind of thrown our stuff everywhere. I might give you a quick little glance around in a sec. We also got food on arrival and it's free. So of course, 
I piled up my plate, there's a picture on screen now, and we got some cake as well. Please don't judge me for the amount of food that is on this plate. I haven't eaten properly all day, I've just been having bits and bobs of different things, and then I was planning on getting a sandwich on the plane, but obviously that didn't happen. So yeah, we got food at about 10 o'clock, or was it half 10? I can't quite remember, but it was very late. But yeah, anyway, we were given food, and we do get a complimentary breakfast tomorrow as well, which is lovely. So we should be set up for the day, but let's just hope that we don't have to wait around for too long because yeah Tom and I just are not about that we just don't have the energy and we are both extremely tired now so he's just gone for a shower I'm gonna take my makeup off go for a shower and then we're just gonna go straight to bed because as I mentioned it's 20 to 12 now we have been awake for way too long and we have to wake up again and see what's going on tomorrow morning so the uncertainty I think is what's getting to us and is what's stressing us out a bit especially Tom because as soon as something like this happens he just gets a bit panicky and he'd rather kind of go home whereas I just want to go on holiday so yeah we'll see but this is the room so we have our double bed on the side here we have the curtains and there's no point me showing you what's outside because it's pitch black but then we have this cool little corner sofa there you can see my shoes and my jumper and then Tom's um clothes there but yeah this is what it looks like it's so pretty and then we have our door there and the bathroom's kind of in here so we're very impressed with the room we're not going to be spending too much time here to be honest with you guys as I mentioned we're just going to sleep here now have a shower of course and then sleep here but yeah it's a lovely room we weren't expecting it so it is nice that they've given us this type of room i do know that this place got full quite quickly though i think it was a couple after tom and i or the one after them they got refused and all the other passengers that hadn't made it up until that point had to then get sent to a different hotel so i'm really glad that that wasn't us and that we did get this room because it's lovely i genuinely just can't wait to get into bed now and fall asleep but yeah that happened to them and i don't even know how long it took for them to get checked in and that so yeah we have definitely not had the best travel day guys this is the first time since i've been traveling as an adult anyway that this has happened and so yeah it's it's a bit of a shock and it's a bit weird but hopefully tomorrow goes well i will of course pick up the camera tomorrow morning and let you guys know what's going on but for now i have heard tom switch off the shower so i'm gonna jump in now i'm gonna leave you here and yeah i will chat to you guys in the morning when we will hopefully know when we're flying right guys it's the next morning it is almost 10 past 11 on the 10th of august and we have an estimated flight time of 3 p.m today so i did get up at I think it was about 10 to 8 because we were meant to get an email at 8 o'clock letting us know when our flight was going to be rescheduled at and luckily as I mentioned we have it is still an estimate though so I'm not sure what that means for us and if it's actually going to happen I'm really really hoping that it does but yeah we got up we've had breakfast we've kind of chilled in the hotel room for a bit watched a bit of telly I've gotten ready oh the hotel phone's going off anyway we're going to head off to the airport now checkout is essentially right now so we're gonna have to leave make our way over there and hopefully we get sorted soon because yeah this has just been a bit of a nightmare i didn't sleep that well i've had a lot of headaches throughout the night so yeah i'm feeling it and i just want to get there now so that is the plan hopefully everything goes according to plan um but yeah we're gonna head off now i'm just packing everything that we bought yesterday into our carry-on cases which is making them even heavier but yeah we're gonna go and i will either update you guys or film some b-roll for you later on right guys we made it through security and all of that jazz no problem we had to recheck in our cases and things but it was fine and now our gate has been called so we're on our way there so i'll check back in in a bit we've made it to the gate so hopefully tom that means that yeah. <laughs> we'll be on the plane soon he's very tired bless him but yeah b10 and i think we're gonna have to get a bus actually so yeah bear with <laughs> After 22 hours, we have finally made it on the plane and Tom has straight away put on the Batman film because we actually have screens on here. How cool is this you guys? We have the screens and if I click home, they're a little bit funny, but I can choose the language and then I can also 
choose to watch some films. So if I go to new releases, which I think is what Tom's on, look, you've got this one. I don't know what this one is. Oh, yes, I do. That's the Banshees of Inisherin. I'm probably saying that wrong. We have the new Batman film, which doesn't want to come on screen for you guys for some reason, but it is there, I promise. We... Oh, I've played it. <laughs> Let me just exit there. This is hard trying to show you guys and do this at the same time. But we have Black Adam, we have Wakanda Forever. Um, I've seen Don't Worry Darling on here as well, which is one that I would like to watch. But yeah, we've got so many Doctor Strangers on there. Yeah, there we are, Don't Worry Darling, Elvis. There's literally so many guys, and I'm gonna have to have a look in a minute now and see what I wanna watch. Lightyear is also one that I would probably like to watch. So yeah, this is really cool. I'm so happy to firstly be on a plane, but now to be on a plane with these screens is just amazing. And yeah, this plane is massive. We have three seats here, three seats in the middle, and then three seats on the other side, which I'm not gonna show you because there are people sat there, but yeah. It is huge and I've just had the screen on the map which kind of shows you where you are and the altitude and speed and things like that as well. So that's what I've been looking at because I have been reading my book. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that just crazy? Look at the altitude, guys. Look at the speed. Wow. And then, yeah, we've got about an hour and a half to go. So not too bad and yeah, very, very happy to be on the plane and to have a plane with this sort of setup because Tom is just loving life as well. As you'll be able to tell from that last clip, guys, we have finally, finally made it to cause. It is 10 to 12 here local time. It is very, very late. It's about 10 p.m. UK time now. And yeah, we've just gotten to the hotel. The flight was so lovely. I didn't want to film there just because with the whole delay situation, we got given random seats and then we were in the middle section of the three sets of seats that you saw and I had a stranger next to me. So yeah, I was trying not to film, but I've shown you the room. I need to show you outside because this is beautiful. So as you saw, we have the bed and then we have a door to go outside with a kind of bugs thing there <laughs> to stop bugs coming in essentially. And look guys, it opens out straight onto the pool essentially. So we have our little sitting area there and then you just walk down here <laughs> and we have the pool. Tom is down there already. It is beautiful here, guys. Like, it is genuinely stunning. <laughs> you liking it? <laughs> wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, the pool's massive. It has this feature. There seems to be a bar over there. I am so excited to see this in the morning when it's sunny because, oh wow, it's just, it's just beautiful, what more can I say? Seems to be a lot of different sunbeds. Of course, we can even just stay in our little section here if we wanted to, but this is amazing. I'm pretty chuffed with this, actually. Are you, Tom? <laughs> Didn't expect that. That's such a cool little surprise. Oh, I've just closed that now and I can't open it. Where is it? There we go. So yeah, oh, and they've given us snacks. 
Oh, that's lovely. Oh, the salad in that, Tom. You won't eat that. Look how nice. He said that the kitchen was closed, but they'd leave some snacks in the room for us. And yeah, we've got some sandwiches and some bananas. So probably going to eat that now because I am quite hungry. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're here. We've made it safely. It was a really lovely flight, actually. It went quite quickly as well with the screens, didn't it, Tom? Yeah. You watched Batman, which was like three and a half hours. So most of the flight, I read for the majority of it. And then for the last hour and a half, I watched... What's the film called, Tom? I don't know. <laughs> Why is it that murder mystery? Oh, um, they, see how they run. See how they run. Yeah, I watched that for the last hour and a half. And literally, as we landed, my film finished. So it was perfect timing. And yeah, it was a really enjoyable flight. Had a ham and cheese toasty and a hot chocolate, which is my go-to on a flight, and yeah, it was really, really good. So luckily, we had a lovely experience today, and the captain was really apologetic, and it, of course, isn't even his fault, but yeah, I think he felt the pressure. And there were a few delays getting off the runway at Manchester Airport as well because of different bits and bobs. So yeah, we didn't take off until I think it was 20 past four. So that's another hour and a half, almost, of um, delay time, so. All in all, it took us 22 hours to get to come from Manchester. But we're here now, we're gonna have an amazing holiday. And yeah, I can finally close out this travel vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Sorry for the chaotic vibes, but yeah, it's just been the craziest two days, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. And yeah, I'm just glad to be here now, but I think we're gonna eat some snacks, figure out how the doors work apparently have a drink and go to bed so that we can wake up fresh and ready tomorrow morning. So that is it for me today, guys. Please make sure to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. Of course, I'm gonna have a holiday vlog coming your way soon, which will follow along from here. So definitely make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss it when it does go live. But that is it for me today, guys. A massive thank you once again for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye.